Hey, what's up, YouTube? Today I want to talk about why I do not like Black History Month and the concept of having a Black History Month. The reason I say this is because, one, it's because of the way I was taught um, Black History um, going to public schools in Akron, Ohio, through K-12. through And then also, I feel that Black History is American history, and if it's taught properly, the, the need for a Black History Month it is, uh, is, is sort of like, you know, alleviated or whatever. Because... The way I was taught black history um, in school is that it's almost as if it's on its own separate timeline from American history. And that's why I didn't that's why I don't like the concept of it, because the only time we were taught black history in school was during February, as if, you know, Crispus Attucks wasn't the first person to die in the Revolutionary War when we were dis when we were uh, discussing the Revolutionary War. And then when they do talk about black history during Black History Month, is as if black people only exist during the time around the Civil War and the time around the Civil Rights Movement. They never discussed uh, the Great Black Migration, to where you know millions of uh, blacks moved to the North. The reason that I live in Ohio right now is because my great grandfather moved his family from Georgia and then settled in uh, you know Northeast Ohio. I never I never learned that in school. I had to read that on my own. And the only time that I was taught that in school is when I when I had to take a uh, an elective in college, and I and I uh, took or a history elective in college, and it was the Black Experience. And but then when they do talk about Black History, they only talk about the nonviolent movement. And they never talk about the Back to Africa movement. They don't. They rarely talk about the Reconstruction era, and they definitely don't talk about the Black Panther Party for self defense. And they rarely talk about Malcolm X. And to me personally, that's an even bigger slap in the face because me personally, I've studied, you know, on my own, all of, you know, the black leaders throughout history. And I personally feel that I, or I like more the ideas of self-defense. You know, if someone's being brutal to you, if someone's willing to hang, if, if someone wants to hang me from a tree and kill my family and burn down my house because they don't like me because of the color of my skin. I'm not going to just turn the other cheek. I'm going to load up my gun and I'm going to defend me and my or my family and myself. And that's just the way I feel. And I, 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 I think that they should teach that you know, throughout history, blacks weren't just complacent with being nonviolent. A lot of people were willing to protect themselves from uh, you know being brutalized and killed. I mean, that was never taught to me when I was in public schools, but. You know, they, 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 they gloss over so much history because they, they, they want to, it seems like they want to whitewash it. They want to, you know, take out all the bad things that happened. You know, you can talk about how we settled, you know, all the way to California. We, we, we started moving out west. But then you also need to talk about how America broke trees with Native Americans and kicked them off for lands where millions of Native Americans died in what, what would be considered a genocide. I mean, we, we did some horrific things. We even gave them blankets laced with smallpox, and they died from it because they didn't have an immune system. I mean, we've we done messed up things. And then if you want to talk about the railroads, you know, there was a large exploitation of uh, ch uh, Chinese uh, immigrants. But when they do teach American history, they minimize or they sugarcoat the ne negative aspects of American history. And I think that's wrong. I think that we as a society are not going to advance if we teach students that everything America does is is by definition right and it's you know we we're the we're the good guys and everyone else is bad I don't think that's how we as a country are going to you know advance into the future is by having this notion that we're never wrong everything we do is perfect throughout history I think that we need to you know be analytical and critical of every single time period throughout our history. I don't hate the concept of a Black History Month, but I think that if American history was taught the way it should be, I think that the need to have a, a Black History Month would not be uh, necessary because if you, every time period you teach of this country, you should talk about the experience of uh, the experiences of everyone in this country, not just a particular group. Talk about how everyone was treated uh, whites, blacks, Hispanics, um, uh, Asians, etc., Native Americans. You know, how, just talk about the circumstances of everything. Don't just teach one side of what happened, because 
the worst thing that can happen is that history, the bad things in history, will repeat themselves. And I love this country. I'm not a blind patriot. I think that when we have problems, I don't pretend to act like America is perfect because we're not. And I and I think being a real patriot is believing that you know we have issues. We're not perfect, but we as a country as a whole should work on fixing those issues. And that's all I gotta say. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.